All right, so go ahead and state your name and tell me your ride. What are we looking at? Oh, sure. Uh, first name is Lawrence. Uh, I go by rcf.nacho on IG. Uh, we have a 2017 uh, RCF. Uh, original color is liquid platinum. It is wrapped, uh, second wrap by Nine Livery over there. Uh, performance mods, I have the full Josie uh, exhaust plus uh, PPE uh, unequal headers. Um, I also have a full uh, MFR aero kit, which is track ready. It's probably like the only RCF with the full MFR uh, kit. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, if Lambos can have it, why can't my RCF? <laughs> I also have um, Copper Bronze uh, Advan GT Beyonds. I don't think I've ever seen an RCF with that specific color. Um, I have San, Me San Metallic Advans coming in mid-December. Voltex Wing coming Type 2. It's supposed to be January, February of next year. I've been waiting since uh, December. All the Japanese wait. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. been crazy. Oh, yeah. So I've been waiting since December of 21. So oh, just, wait, <laughs> just waiting for that final piece. And yeah, so uh, I've got Rowan uh, Carbon Fiber, Lems Carbon Fiber, Aim Gain. So no, no replicas on this puppy. So. I love it. Don't no, yeah. thank you much. Thank you very much, <laughs> yeah, man. People sure, man. people don't realize yeah. the, the the problems that replicas exactly. can cause exactly. legitimate companies, especially in the tuner industry where there's so much money being oh, spent yeah. and the consumerism oh, yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, tell me really briefly why Lexus, why not only RC but the RCF. Ooh, uh, so I started with my first Lexus 2004. IS 250. Um, I knew I needed something with more power, so my friends were like, get a V8. So I first started with a GSF. Test I love the GSF. That's what I want. I, I was going to get a GSF before an RCF or this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But four doors, you know, they're easier to, you know, deal with. But I've never owned a two door. And I felt like uh, coming from IS to RCF, it was uh, very identical as far as size, uh, cockpit size, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I got you, got you. Especially the 2004, oh, yeah. it's really. Right. Oh yeah. Now, um, mm -hmm. tell me your inspiration for this build. I mean, I mean, this thing is beautiful. It's decked <laughs> out nicely. It seems like you have more parts on the way. Oh yeah. What, what, oh, what yeah. are you kind of going so, with? So, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going track or I'm going show. So mm. we're just kind of in this limbo of what we're doing, but I at least want to have the decent parts have a track ready. Uh, I might even go supercharged. Oh, you know, supercharged V8 next year, so or two. So yeah, so uh, we're just kind of trying to figure that out. Right? Love it. And now tell me, what what are some of the other cars you have at the house, or what have you kind of had growing up? Uh, I don't know if this is oh, your yeah. daily oh, or no. uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, Fast and Furious, inspired by the 1996 Maxima, uh -huh. or, or I think it was a 97. I forgot what year by Craig Lieber Lieberman. Uh, so I have a 96 Maxima at Love home. It. I uh, started working on it and then kind of gave up and then just went into the IS and uh, yeah, so I own those three and now the RCFs. So. Perfect. Yeah. Now, could you briefly describe um, where did you enjoy uh, learn to love the car culture? Was it like changing oil with dad kind of experience? Was it more Hollywood or tell me why, where did this love of cars come from? You know, uh, I know it's cliche and trendy, but Fast and Furious, no, dude. Uh, same here, man, same here. That's not <laughs> it, And uh, just growing up, I'm Filipino, so we've always owned Japanese cars. So it's either Honda, Nissan, and Lexus. Yeah, even my dad has the LS uh, 460. Oh, I love that, so comfy. Yeah, so <laughs> I've just always been surrounded by Japanese cars and just seeing the Acura Integra. I was, you know, the old, you know, the old the school old 90s. School, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my inspiration and how I got into Japanese cars, so. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, uh, in the future, you're keeping this, or you want to build it and then sell it off and start something new. What are your plans five years from now? I'd absolutely love to keep it. Uh, of course, everything's going to turbos and electric, so uh, natural aspirated V8. I want to keep it as long as I can. You know, if somebody names me their goddad or something, I'll <laughs> hand it to their son. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely want to keep it as long as I can. Fantastic. Sure. And then last question, uh, California is going to be transitioning to electrification in the next 15 to 20 years. So what are your thoughts of electric cars and kind of the future of the car culture? You know, I am okay with that. Um, 
I personally am not ready for it yet, so I kind of want to enjoy the naturally aspirated engines. Maybe it's just, it just has a little more soul. Perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Soul. And, and that's that's not yeah. that's not an uncommon question, <laughs> right, but I really appreciate it. Right. Um, go ahead and give your shout out again. You mentioned your IG, but is there anyone you wanted to thank or mention your oh, IG yeah. again and um, uh, kind of go from there? Oh yeah. Uh, again, uh, I'm Lawrence. I go by RCF Nacho. I want to shout out to a Nine Livery over there, just helping me out with my vision with wraps. I don't think. I think a lot of people understand, you know, wraps is a huge part of aesthetics. You should just have fun with it. Your car's still going to run the same. And shout out to my uh, Lexus family that's always supported my craziness. Because I know this build's not for everybody, but they get me and I appreciate all the support. I love it. I really appreciate appreciate it. Thank you very much. No, absolutely.